potato. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. It's a great time to be alive. I know it's hard to think that when it's, you know, all this corona stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of people are losing their lives, but if you are alive right now and you are well, just be grateful that you're still alive and you are well. Be grateful that you can breathe. Be grateful that you, um, you know, you can do whatever you want to do to a certain extent but yeah i just wanted to address that hope you guys are doing well and thank you for coming back to this channel so if you watched my previous video i said that i was going to be tackling something today i was going to be spraying my front lip the same front lip that you saw in the intro video and i hope you guys like that one because that was kind of funny to me to film so i hope you guys enjoyed that with that being said let's just get straight into today's video i hope you guys like it give this video a massive thumbs up i've been pushing these videos out quite a lot i've pushed like four videos out in like two three weeks i'm happy to be back filming a lot for you guys i've got more lined up i appreciate you guys coming back to this channel and watching me uh film and work on my car so but if you're a new subscriber or if you're a new viewer then my name is ron i'm building my s2000 to the way i like it and if that's something that you like or you just enjoy watching my videos and uh thank you for watching my videos i couldn't say that enough i'm at 3400 subscribers i'm trying to aim for like 10k um, 50k maybe but yeah i'm just going to continue filming these videos for you guys and i hope you enjoy today's vlog if you've been following my build then you can tell that i've been uh, slowly working the interior i did these a pillars wrapped them in this gucci fabric there's a bit down there that you can't really see there's my Surikawa train handle not a lot of people know what these are but yeah it is just a, a decor it is just for looks this is my latest mod the we are likewise shifter it's got the uh, thick boy on the top and the Suzuka sort of extension um, contraption there. It's pretty good. It feels nice when shifting through the gears. My mate was telling me about the throw. I know it's a little bit long now, but it actually feels really nice when I'm driving around. And uh, you can see here, there is the um, Vertex NRG. And uh, it just goes on. I'm trying to do this one-handed is very, very difficult. But yeah, all these mods have a separate video so if you want to watch the installation video for this vertex wheel then go ahead the links up here same with this and same with this so if you guys want to watch uh, any of those videos then make sure to head on up and follow the link but we'll go outside and we're going to have a look at the front end of my car if you come around to the front it's missing a front lip so i thought i'd address that issue and uh excuse me about the um the bird poo I'm gonna to have to wash the car at some point maybe today it's really nice outside so I hope everyone's doing well I also did a video um, if you'd notice in the UK we have these uh, headlight washer jets I know you can see it but this was a DIY job I, uh, I smoothed out my bumper took off the the Honda badge it, uh, took off the number plate holes as well I just resprayed it myself so there's a separate video if you want to watch that but today I will be tackling the front lip I'm worried that it's going to be really, really low to the floor. If need be, I'll just raise the car. But you've got about two inches off the floor there. And I'm hoping it's not going to lower the car too drastically. Because, um, yeah, it'll make it very, very undrivable. But at the moment, I'm happy at where it sits. I'm going to get the front lip real quick and uh, mock it up to see what it looks like. So you guys can get an idea of how... Uh, what it will look like in the future. Debadging the car front end was uh, such a great move. So if you've got a car that you want to sort of clean the front end, then I recommend you guys doing that. Right, so I've got the front lip here. Um, you can tell it's not exactly, uh, it's not following the exact shape of the bumper and that's because it's uh, made of poly uh, plastic. It's not the fiberglass, but it's good because it's going to be a bit more forgiving. Um, I can just sort of bend it around and just, um, cable tie it and screw it on so because uh, I think that it was quite cheap it was like 130 odd pounds from eBay whereas if we um, for the fiberglass it would have been like 400 pounds so I didn't fancy paying that and I'm pretty sure this is just gonna get ruined in a couple of weeks or a couple of months but and I also ordered the spray cans I bought this from 
a company called Car Color Services. I'll have the website down below if you guys are interested. This all came to around about 60 pounds. Just before I start cleaning the front lip, I just wanna show you guys the, the products I'll be using today. Um, this is gonna be the exact order that you wanna do them in. So the plastic primer, high build primer, so you can use that to sand it down and um, it should bury all the small imperfections um, like little nibs, little scratches, um, that's, that's for that. And then we want to use, this is a specific color, so don't use this exact one. This is from the color of my car, um, Suzuka Blue. And this is the clear coat that I was talking to you about. So if you've never done spray painting before, it's really, really easy. Copy what I do in this order and you can't really go wrong. And you just gotta make sure that you don't spray too close to the panel, otherwise you're gonna be um, you're going to cover it in runs and that's not what you want but you don't want to be too far um, as you don't want the paint to be too dry so it's all about the balance the, the perfect distance the speed i also bought this um it's the uh, aerosol trigger and i've used a few rattle cans in the past and for some reason my fingers start to ache so i thought i'd give this a go and uh, it sort of just slips into there and yeah Oh, guys, quick update. I'm gonna have a little break. Gigi's just cooked us a nice brekkie, full breakfast. What's that? Where's mine? Oh, okay, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's see what she's made us. Ooh, so looks like we've got some hash browns, some bread, some sausages, some shrooms, and some couple of eggs. Nice, yum yum. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> right guys, I'm gonna scoff this down and then we'll be back outside and continue with the spray job.
Right, so the hardest part of the task is done. Um, I'll finally show you guys what I've decided to do on the baking side. So I'll go to my bathroom and this is the setup. So we're gonna go in here and the part's gonna be right there and I've got two lamps in here working away. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the extractor right there and it absolutely stinks of clear coat in this. The job came out absolutely Mint, considering of my um, where I was doing it outside, doing it with rattle cans. Um, I'm happy with the finish. There's a couple of imperfections like you see there and there, and then a big fiber landed here somewhere. And I think there's a tiny little run there because yeah, I tried to get a gum finish on the rattle can. So yeah, so I'm just gonna leave this to sort of bake for probably an hour or two, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, fit it on the car. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely gonna bake off in here because it's actually really hot in here. Use your resources, just be creative and uh, you'll be quite surprised how, um, how powerful the brain is. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my little setup here. So we'll come back in an hour or two. Two hours later. It's been about two hours, we're losing uh, most of the sunlight now, so I'm gonna try and rush and fit my front lip back to my front bumper now. Ooh, nice and toasty in here. This homemade DIY sort of oven spray booth, well not spray booth, an oven, has worked an absolute treat because the front lip is dry to the touch. Now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take at least 24 hours for the clear coat to fully, fully cure so all of the solvents can uh, escape. Happy with the way this front lip's turned out. And I'm really, really excited to get it back on. So yeah, with that being said, let's just get on with it. Right, I've just finished. Um, let's just show you guys, bam. So this took longer than expected. Um, I'm out of breath because I struggled to fit this last, last screw. The fitment's a bit off, but I've just learned my lesson. Never buy um, an eBay rep style lip. I mean, from a distance, it looks really, really good. I'm happy with the fit. I'm happy with the color match. It's a little bit dark. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Overall, I think this is a job well done. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, I really think this lip is probably one of the best um, bang for your buck sort of mod. Ideally, I wanted to go for the ASM bumper, but that's like 500 pounds. I thought I'd try this front lip first and I'm glad I did, no regrets. But yeah guys, what do you guys think? Let me know. Do a little walk around. Yeah, you can, it's pretty obvious. That's a lot darker than that. But I'm happy with it. Finally, finally got the front lip. And it's not sitting as low as I thought it'd do. There's still three fingers. It's definitely gonna scrape everywhere. Hoping that doesn't ping out. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pain in the ass. So I'm happy. Again, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and come back. While I was waiting for the uh, front lip to bake I actually started editing today's video whilst I was working away I've been sort of tracking this package some of you might know about I hinted it in yesterday's video or was it the day before yesterday well I hinted it in the previous video yeah that came through um, I was editing and I got a call I went downstairs signed for the package really excited to do that mod for you guys hard work pays off I'm so happy we're losing some sunlight so I might go out and drive tomorrow and take a couple of pictures and uh, maybe give the car a wash so with that being said guys I'm gonna end today's video I'm gonna get this last segment of the, some clips edited and I'll chop that into uh, the already edited bit if that makes sense and then I'll, I'll be posting it tomorrow so by the time you're watching it would already be Monday so yeah it's been a long day guys remember if you like today's video then make sure to click the thumbs up button subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one peace Thank you.